Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video I'm going to be installing this Reese brake controller, which I took out of the uh, the third gen, and I'm going to be installing it into the 2019 Dodge Ram Classic. Now, to make life easy, I purchased off of Amazon a Kurt uh, brake control harness. It, uh, it fits this truck, apparently. Uh, I don't need both, uh, both ends on here because this is a Reese controller, Kurt harness. Lose the Kurt plug. Use the uh, other end that plugs into the truck. Uh, we're going to test the wire harness, make sure the connections are proper, and wire this in. Now I took the wire harness out of the package, cut back the loom, chopped off the connector that I don't need. This is the connector here that I need to plug into um, the connector that's under the uh, the dash of the truck, uh, under the uh, the heater controls, and this should be just a standard hookup of black power, white ground, red signal blue to the trailer brakes. It should be an exacting match to this harness right here. Same colored wires doing the same thing. But I'm going to plug it into the truck and test the connections just to be safe. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Uh, there's two connectors here. Uh, the square one on the bottom is the connector I need and the rectangular one on the top is the one I don't need. Uh, if this truck had the factory brake controller in it, it uses both of those connectors. You can buy uh, it from the dealer or aftermarket. Um, it's a module plus the piece that goes in the dash. That's what the connections are for. Problem is that costs you about 200 bucks and then you gotta take it to the dealer and have the computer flashed so that it functions. This way, I'm just using the one that I need, which is that one. Now, I've already gone through these connections once, so I'll just share this with you quickly with the, with the voltmeter. You're gonna need a voltmeter to verify, but the, uh, the color-coded wires do match the, uh, the Reese controller. So, we have negative on the uh, white wire and positive, 12 volts plus on the black wire and uh, blue it always goes to the trailer now this is a signal wire um, you should get 12 volts on it but the vehicle has to be running when you press the brake pedal to get 12 volts on this because this is part of the uh, the vehicle system if you were to tap the brake pedal uh, switch wire back there that would be a totally different uh, different story okay so we have negative, positive, the signal, and to the trailer. So get this all uh, back in the garage, get it all soldered up in a loom, back out here ready to install. Now here's the uh, controller, all the wiring all hooked up, taped up in the loom. Got their auto reset uh, 20 amp relay fuse in there. So just plug this in, mount this to the bracket, which I've already uh, mounted here using an existing screw. Everything should be good. And then just loop this up under the dash and hold it up with uh, a couple zip ties. Okay, so I thought this was important in order to get that screw in down there. I had to take this bezel, which goes in there off and it's just held in with some of these little clips so a little bit of pressure pops right out and I'll pop that back in okay so there you have it very nice clean almost professional 
installation. Wires are tied up under the dash with a couple zip ties. They're not going to interfere with the uh, gas pedal. I think it looks pretty good. Very practical. Very, uh, very handy position. So, uh, till the next one, as always, guys. Peace.